Cade Cunningham has been the number one pick on your board for quite some time. What is it that leads you to slot Cunningham over Gonzaga's Jalen Suggs and USC's Evan Mobley? Well, he's a 6'8 point guard, and those guys are the queens and the chessboard in today's NBA. You can put the ball in his hands, any possession, and he can go and get you a bucket. He can find other people. He guards one through four. He's a 41% three-point shooter. He really is the whole package. And, you know, you look at a guy like Luka Doncic, who, you know, was definitely underdrafted. I think the reason for that was because people did not realize how much value you can get in a guy who is, you know, you're going to build a whole team around him, which you can't say the same thing about Suggs or Evan Mobley. Yeah, Jonathan, we've seen as uh, some mock drafts have as many as eight freshmen in the top ten picks. How many are you projecting in terms of freshmen go in the first ten of the lottery? Well, we have six freshmen right now, and then two guys who played in the G League Ignite that were one-and-done prospects as well. So we also have eight there. You'll see we only have two guys uh, who work, um, you know, freshmen in France, Wagner and Davion Mitchell. So this is going to be a very uh, young draft, but, um, you know, absolutely loaded in terms of talent. Jonathan, who are a couple players who have improved their draft stock thanks to a solid March Madness run? Yeah, so you have to start with Davion Mitchell, who we're going to see tonight. National Defensive Player of the Year, shot 45% for three on the season. But it's really showed people different facets of this game in every game that he's played in so far. Against Houston, it was his pick and roll ability, his ability to find the open man. He had 11 assists and zero turnovers. Other games when they needed him to go get them a bucket in one-on-one -on -one situations, he did that too. He's guarded everybody, um, you know, all tournament long. And uh, he's ready to step into an NBA, you know, court right now. I mean, he's, um, he's physically mature. He's 22 years old. Uh, he's ready. Other than him, Max A. Smith, who has actually led all of college basketball in scoring, but he didn't get to do it against the same competition like he faced in the NCAA tournament, going up against Florida, Arkansas, Ohio State. Those are three top 25 defenses. To be able to, you know, put up almost 30 points a game against those type of defenses, that really helped in my thought. Um, Cam Thomas from LSU, he, uh, you know, he had 27 points in the first round, 30 in the second. He's a you know, one and done freshman. He can he can really, really score from anywhere on the floor. And then Chris Duarte from Oregon, you know, going to be 24 years old on draft night, but he's a plug and play wing. Um, he can pass, he can dribble, he can shoot. He's a pretty good defender. He's six six. Uh, you know, those kind of guys that like Desmond Bain we saw uh, from last year's draft. Those are really valuable, you know, and so if somebody's going to take them at the end of the first round. They're going to want to have him on a rookie scale contract. He's going to be a cheap, good asset for them for the next four years. Yeah, finally, Jonathan, casual hoops fans have had a lot of exposure to these one and done players like Cunningham, like Suggs, like Mobley, because they played college basketball this season. But let's go back to your top 10. And there was those two G League guys, Jalen Green and Jonathan Kuminga, who Probably most Hoops fans haven't seen because you don't watch G League action. The rank four and five on your big board or in your mock draft. Tell us what those two bring to the table and why they could be every bit as good or better as the three names listed above. Yeah, well, these are two of the best athletes in the draft, and they really have held their own against elite level competition going up against G League players or the professional basketball players who are, you know, in many cases, all conference players, players of the year, guys who are 25, 27, 30 years old in some case, and they dominated. You know, I mean, they helped their teams make make the playoffs, which, um, you know, very impressive for a team of 18, 19 year olds. Jalen Green, um, you know, just got better and better as the G League bubble moved on. He's a phenomenal athlete who can score from anywhere on the court. And Jonathan Kaminga is really your prototype for an NBA wing. He's 6'8, he can play two, three, or four. He's outstanding with the ball in his hands. He projects the multi-positional defender. So these guys are loaded with upside. And I think NBA teams are going to feel comfortable with them because they saw them against other NBA players. The Julie bubble was, was filled with former first-round draft picks, second-round picks, guys on two-way contracts, guys on assignments. So there's not a lot of projection going into that. Whereas with college, you just don't know how some of these guys are going to translate. ESPN NBA draft analyst Jonathan Gavoni, kind enough to join us here on Bet. Jonathan, we appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, guys. Have a good one. Enjoy tonight. Thanks for
for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.